Welcome to the show, Stephen. Thank you. Good to be with you, Ward. Well, I am, am very impressed with your brand new song, Together, We'll Get Through This, which I find very inspirational, but it's also very comforting. So how far into the pandemic uh, did the thought of this song actually come to you? Yeah, um, that's a good question because I, I, I usually process things, um, life, with a song. Um, of course, my faith journey, you know, has inspired so many of my songs over the last 30 plus years uh, that I've been doing this. And even before then, I mean, I started writing songs in high school uh, and you can look back all the way there to the first songs and kind of trace my journey. What was I reading, considering, pondering what was going on in my life personally? You know, you can almost watch my kids grow up and, you know, my marriage, you know, struggles, mountaintops, valleys, all of that in, in music. It's just how I process life. So certainly something like this was, you know, probably going to stir a song somewhere in me. And I walked by my television and my wife, who loves to watch the news, I, I admit denial is my happy place. I don't really want to listen to all the, 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 the fussing and arguing and debating and because it's like, who none of you can be totally right because you can't be that you know on the opposite spectrum and and somewhere in the middle you know somewhere there's there's you know got to be some answers here but I can't make any sense of this and it makes me crazy but my wife likes to keep you know she says I'm gathering data that's what she says you know I'm just gathering the information and uh, <clears throat> but I kept hearing these words that were very unusual from what I've been hearing on my television the last months and really few years. Um, I was hearing words like together, we need each other, we'll make it through this, but we got to work together. We, we need to, you know, come together. And I was like, wow, that's very unusual because usually it's no, you know, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. And, um, and so it, it was inspiring. It was encouraging. It felt hopeful. Even in the midst of this darkness, it was like a little ray of light um, you know, coming through. And, and I think also not, not just as humanity recognizing that, but I think for me as a person of faith, I heard truth, eternal truth in that, because, you know, we look in scripture and we see in the Bible from the beginning of the story, we understand we're made for relationship. We're made for relationship with God. He created us. He created us out of, uh, out of his own, you know, relationship of community of, of the, you know, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, you know, he creates Adam. He says, it's not good for you to be alone. Puts him in relationship, you know, then, and then all through scripture, you see that theme coming back again and again, Ecclesiastes, two are better than one. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. You know, you, you see Jesus talking, you know, about the body and how the body works together, you know, and, uh, and, you know, a, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand, you know, a house divided against itself. So that just, there was eternal truth coming through those words and like a little crack of light coming through the darkness. Um, I have seen songs be able to sometimes kick the door open a little bit more. When you see a little ray of light, I thought, well, maybe a song could kick the door open and more light could come in. And so I started writing this song together. We'll get through this. Um, thinking, you know, to myself, I don't know if the world needs another together song. There, there are a lot of those I've written. In fact, I have another song called together, uh, on an album I wrote for my wife, but it just felt like a song that I needed to write. Um, I wasn't sure if anybody needed to hear it, but I knew I needed to say it. But as I got into the process of it, um, I thought, you know, this seems like an important thing to try to say right now. And it would be really neat if I could say this with some other artists together you know it kind of makes sense if you're going to sing a song called together that you don't do it alone so uh, i got brad paisley to join me which was really really cool brad i'm a fan of brad's uh, we've crossed paths a few times but never done any work together or music together um and so i was very honored i asked him and he agreed and i was blown away still kind of pinching myself that i got to do a song with brad paisley um lauren elena who's an amazing talented uh, country artist. I watched her on American Idol, kind of fell in love with her voice and her spirit. And she was very uh, vocal about her faith in that journey and has continued to be and reached out to her. And she said, my family will freak out that I'm doing a song with Stephen Curtis Chapman. You know, I grew up listening to your music and, 
And then Tasha Cobbs Leonard, I really wanted to try to bring, uh, I would have loved to have had a gospel choir on this song. Nothing brings the power and the passion like a gospel choir. Oh, that's right. But, but since you can't do that on a, on a socially distanced time in your, in your world, uh, I thought, well, I could bring the next best thing, and that would be a gospel choir all wrapped up into one voice, and that's Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Um, she brought, she took us to church, you know? So, um, yeah, it was really great to get to have all those artists join me. I'm, I'm very, very grateful. I understand that the proceeds uh, from uh, this song will benefit the Opry Trust Fund and the Gospel Music Association to assist those who have been gravely affected by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Believe me, uh, Stephen, I know there are bus drivers, there's roadies, there's the crew, there's uh, traveling musicians, that the backup bands, they're, everybody, that's how they make their living. And ladies and gentlemen, please, not only just download the song, I want you to listen to the song. I want you to share the song. And remember, we are all in this together. And we don't have to walk in fear. You know, the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And uh, Stephen, uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to, to come onto the program, to, to share uh, this amazing new song, buy the song today together, because guess what? We're coming out the other side better than ever. I'll be right back after this. <laughs> 